Good afternoon, folks. I want to put something into perspective. We had this paper yesterday in the morning show, and I can tell you that for most in the astrophysics, astronomy, and geoscience community, it's just a run-of-the-mill study on geomagnetic induction during a solar storm. There's hundreds of these every year. This one's from April 2023, and perhaps some scientists might find it interesting that we took a larger electrodynamic hit than expected given the power of the solar event that hit us, but I see much more than that. Keep this in mind. A mild solar storm delivered a bigger than expected hit to Earth, and scientists are surprised by how much it impacted the electric current induction. Now, let's rewatch the video from just a few days ago, and then we're going to wrap these things together. So this is one of the top geophysical guys in Russia, and his work is extremely complex. He has a serious understanding of not only geophysics, but math. And his identification of real-world magnetic anomalies dance with his physics model of the Earth and tell us we are in the disaster cycle zenith right now. Some of the critical takeaways from the article are that, again, we are in the major planetary magnetic shift we have been discussing for years. The key magnetic anomalies that confirmed his initial hypothesis were in 2007, 2020, and last year in 2023. His model has a much broader runway in terms of a time frame just due to the nature of the model itself, saying it will occur before 2216 AD. We'll dig a bit deeper into that in a moment. And he confirmed the approximately 6,000 year cycle for these events. I am not sure how much more an observer could hope to see in a single publication. Now, the main difference between his and our coverage is the timeline, but his thermohydrogravidynamic model is just not the same kind of analysis as our mathematical extrapolation. It can't be as specific with the timing, just like my analysis can see the pattern and do the math, but can't nail down the physical processes within the Earth responsible for that pattern. Here is our chart from our latest book, showing where the magnetic field strength has been and how the decline in strength has accelerated just as the speed of the magnetic pole movement has increased. The critical area is actually where we are right now, the inflection point, where the curve takes over and the decline begins to accelerate rapidly. This comports with the finding of the major magnetic anomaly in 2023, which also correlates with what we've covered in real time, the auroral records last year, and the unexpectedly high KP index events over the last year as well. The magnetic anomaly identified in his paper is part of the main reason for them. We have hit another acceleration node in the timeline. And that also agrees well with what we are expecting to come in the following years. The shift begins slowly, but when it kicks into gear, remember, it will eventually be going a hundred times faster than the changes we saw in the first years of this new millennium. This is what you saw with the chart taking a dive. We're on the cliff's edge right now. Now this is why our model may be less impressive in, well, almost every way, but it takes the upper hand in giving the timeline, which I would argue is pretty darn important. We should have the zenith of the disaster in the 2030s or 2040s, but of course, remember that major calamities are expected before that. Volcanoes, earthquakes, solar storm, grid down scenarios, not to mention the stupidity of the idiots running this planet. I hope this video was informative. Thank you for watching. Please do that homework if you haven't yet. I will see you in the morning for the daily show. And we are back to today. Hopefully you understand what I'm going for here. All of 2023 and even into 2024, we've been looking at the auroral records, the unexpected KP index during solar storms, and without any good explanation because the solar activity was moderate at best, our only conclusion was that our magnetic field had hit another acceleration point, and Earth was descending faster into the magnetic pole shift. That's exactly what the new paper told us, the one in the video from a few days ago, and the major magnetic anomaly dated to March of 2023, one month before the unexpected geomagnetic induction event, the paper we saw at the beginning of this video, and which kicked off the last year of surprising space weather effects on Earth, the KP index, the aurora. Folks, it wasn't just a run-of-the-mill paper. It's yet another piece of evidence of what is happening. You guys know I follow every possible study in this scientific field so far. I have not seen one thing that contraindicates the conclusion that we are on our way down. We're at the edge of the cliff, about to make the big drop on the roller coaster. Could be months, could be a couple years, but down we go.
Not the time to fall asleep, folks. I will see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.